What's up everybody? So I actually was cleaning out my cupboard and I came across this. The Samsung Smart Tag. I know right? What is it? What does it do? And should you consider getting one? These are some of the questions we're going to try and answer in today's video. Let's get into it. Just before we jump into the video, I'd just like to let you guys know uh, that we actually started live streaming games here on the YouTube channel. So usually we play CSGO, PUBG and Call of Duty. Uh, so we just started the stream, obviously sorting out some teething issues. Uh, but yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you've got your notifications bell turned on. And you can also always watch those videos in our live stream playlist here on the channel. Yeah, so you'll be notified whenever we go live. And yeah, come in, join us, have some fun, jam with us. Uh, yeah, we'll be looking forward on that next step, obviously, that we're doing with the channel, which is live stream gaming. Anyway, the reason we're here, the Samsung Smart Tag. There's a surprisingly large number of videos about this out on the internet. Um, I didn't think it was a thing. But obviously, it, it must be selling well. Uh, I obviously got this and a lot of people would have got this if they bought a Samsung S21 Ultra back in January when I got the phone. Uh, but every company seems to be making them as well. So it started out with a company called Tile. Uh, now you got Samsung with the Samsung Smart Tag. You got Apple with the Air Tags. And I think you also get a Mate Tile from Huawei as well. So there must be something to this if every big major manufacturer is making these and they must be selling them otherwise why would they do so? So taking a look at this, it, there's nothing much to the packaging. Uh, basically you open it up on the inside, uh, there's a quick start guide and the Samsung tag itself. Um, once you get this out, one benefit what I was reading and when I was trying to do some research about this is that the Samsung Smart Tag at least has a hole put into the tag itself so that you can attach this to key rings or whatever else you may need to attach it. Unlike the Apple Air Tags, which is just basically a disc, I uh, don't know how you're going to attach it to anything. Uh, connectivity and setup, very easy. So basically you just press down on the button on the tag itself, makes a noise and then obviously on your phone you will get notified to connect it to the smart things app. So this thing basically works well obviously with the Samsung ecosystem uh, but if you have a device or Android device that you can get the smart things app on that device then you'll be able to use this. So basically it's, it's a tracking system. So they say you can put this on your key rings, on your car keys, uh, on your pets, etc, etc, etc. And it has an IP rating of 58, so it's dust and water resistant. Um, however, it feels good, the plastic. And on the inside, it has a um, these batteries that you usually use in watches and your car keys, which is a CR2032. Those are low discharging uh, batteries, so this thing is going to last about a year. Uh, to change the battery, there's a slot at the edge of the tag. So what Samsung recommends is that you actually use a guitar pick or a credit card, but from some um, reviews I've seen out there, um, yeah, you can damage it if you use anything else. So if you use your fingernails or a screwdriver, etc., etc., you can damage this. And if you're opening it up with a card, you can actually damage your credit card. So make sure you're using an old card that you're not going to use anymore. Um, which also begs the question, if your fingernails or a small screwdriver can damage this and you're saying this can be used on pets, what are pets teeth going to do to this? <laughs> and and if, you, if you own Labradors, you know this thing is not even going to last an hour. 
However, there's three methods, methods of obviously checking this device wherever you may have it. Um, I've been using it a lot. Um, I throw it into my camera bag because we've been on the road a lot. So it's, I can check my bag if it ever gets misplaced. Um, so the three methods is firstly GPS tracking. Um, that gives you a general vicinity of where the, your tag is located. Uh, once you're within that range of the phone or the tag, sorry, once your phone is within range of the tag, uh, it connects to the tag via Bluetooth. And then you can use radar tracking, which basically shows you uh, signal strength of your Bluetooth connection. So the further you are away, it will tell you that you are far away. And as you get closer, your signal bar gets stronger. And then once you're very close to the device, you can actually ring the device. Um, it's actually quite loud. Let me just play this here. Yeah, it's quite loud. Alternatively, you can also use the smart tag because it has a button on it and you can set up a uh, different number of presses uh, to activate different things. So you can use this with other smart thing devices. Um, so if you have a smart home, uh, if you've got like a Samsung smart uh, lights within your house or if you've got a smart vacuum cleaner or oven, whatever, you can use this to turn it on. I don't know if it's very applicable in South Africa because uh, yeah, we are struggling to get decent internet con connectivity at exorbitant prices as it is. So the smart things or smart homes are actually a thing of the future. Uh, it's not really affordable for everybody. Uh, but you can also locate your phone. So if you double press on the device, then your phone starts ringing. Uh, and then you can look at your phone like with other Samsung devices. We've covered this obviously on the Galaxy watches. But the question that when I was thinking about this, why do you need to locate your phone? I mean, you should have your phone on you at all times. And then when I thought about it more, I mean, we're living in a time where phones are getting bigger and clothes are coming out with no pockets or small pockets. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it, do, it doesn't make sense to me. So, I mean, gone are the days where you would actually keep your phone in your pocket and, and that leads to a lot of other problems. So misplacing your phone, phones getting stolen, you become an easier target for your phone to get stolen. Uh, and then you drop your phone, crack your screens, etc., etc., etc. Just Just get clothes with deep pockets that you can put your phone in. You avoid all those problems. Um, yeah, we also with the IP58 rating, um, I was thinking about once you open up this device and change the battery and you reseal it again, do you still have that dust and water resistance? And that's very applicable, especially if you're going to use this to track your pets. I mean, pets will be pets, you know, they're going to be running around in your yard, they're going to be going into water puddles, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, it's... It's a cool device, I guess, but would I buy one? I don't. So these come in at, at 500 bucks. Um, and obviously I got it free with the S21 Ultra, but I don't think I would buy one. There's actually a better device that's just got launched. And it's out in the US at the moment. It's not here in South Africa just yet. And that's the Smart Tag Plus. So that uses ultra wideband technology. And then you can actually detect your tag up to they say about what is it, an inch away or something like that so it takes you right right to your device and it also enables something called uh, augmented reality tracking so basically you can use the camera on your phone and whatever picture you're seeing it shows you these like green dots on the screen um, to show you exactly where your smart tag is I guess that's a much better, obviously, application of this. And it's probably what Samsung intended to do in the first place. So I don't know why they launched this when they had something better coming. And the next question is, obviously, what is going to be the cost of the Samsung Tag Plus? Uh, obviously, if it's much more than this, um, it's not going to be feasible. Um, and then with this itself, I mean, Technically, if you damage this, 
you're probably gonna get another one if your pet damages it or loses it you're gonna probably get another one um, and yeah Samsung is on this whole thing with the S21 they didn't give us a power brick which I'm still mad about because they're trying to reduce e-waste but how much more e-waste is this gonna contribute so yeah there's just some things to think about the smart tag and yeah this was a quick review of it uh, let me know if you have one what are you using it for um, and if you would consider getting one uh, and share your reasons why down in the comment section uh, as always make sure you follow us on, on our social platforms on our production uh, company's uh, Instagram page as well um, and if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, comment down in the comment section as always and we'll see you in the next one